Hi friends, this is an introductory video about growing nasturtiums in Aero Garden Harvest. I recently started experimenting nasturtiums and I had a few learnings so I just wanted to share with you all. I bought these seeds from an online store called seedsnow.com. The seeds are looking pretty different from each other. Some are big and some are small. Maybe these seeds are collected from multiple plants. I am placing one seed in each pod and starting with four pods. The seed is pretty big and I can't place more than one seed in this small hole anyways. Even one seed is making this pod super tight. I want to grow only one plant in this garden because it is going to spread out nicely with lots of vines. However, I don't know the germination rate so I am starting with four pods. That's it. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's been 35 days. I have been waiting, waiting and waiting but not even a single seed germinated. The seeds also totally spoiled and the sponges are covered with mold. I have no hope on these seeds. It's been 5 weeks and it is time to give up on these seeds. Since placing the seeds directly in Aero Garden failed so badly, I am going to try my famous wet paper towel method. I am placing 6 seeds on a paper towel. Then spray the water and make sure the seeds and the paper towel is thoroughly wet. Then fold the paper towel and place it in a ziplock bag. Now close the ziplock bag leaving one end open a little bit. Then keep it in a warm and dark place. I will keep it in my kitchen pantry. It's been 4 days. Let's take a look at the seeds. The paper towel still has lots of moisture. Oh wow! Look at these seeds. Oh my goodness! Wonderful germination in just 4 days. 4 out of 6 seeds germinated successfully. That is more than 65% and super quick. I wasted 35 days placing the seeds directly in Aero Garden. This is the reason I always prefer to go with the wet paper towel method as much as possible. Now I will transfer these seedlings to Aero Garden. I am using some off-brand sponges. Just slit and open them as much as possible. Then carefully place the seedlings and make sure at least a few roots are inside the sponge. Then wrap some aluminum foil around the pod to block the light going onto the sponge. This way we can prevent algae growing on the sponges as much as possible. Alright, the garden is ready with 4 pods. I am still planning to grow only 1 or 2 plants in this garden. But I am not sure how many of these seedlings will survive. Once I reach to some confidence that these seedlings are going to survive, I will keep two plants here and transfer the remaining plants to other gardens. It's been two days since I transplanted the seedlings. Seedlings are doing excellent. Leaves are opening up and looking beautiful. I was skeptical on one of the seedlings as it was not developed very well but this is also coming very nice. It's been 10 days. Look at these beautiful seedlings. Surprisingly the first stem dried up but the new branches are coming very nice and healthy. Same thing with other seedlings as well. The very first stem dried up but the subsequent branches are coming very healthy. These seedlings are already looking beautiful. Look at this seedling that I was very skeptical. It looks very strong. Stronger than other seedlings. This whole journey is quite interesting. Alright, that is the quick introductory video with some germination tips. I am looking forward to see these plants loaded with flowers. Let's see. I will keep you updated with all the exciting results from this experiment. 
So please stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.